Bombay has a seamier and much sadder side, as a result of which it is now also the AIDS capital of South Asia. The motor for the rapid spread of HIV lies in the half a dozen or so squalid red light districts like this one, filmed by a hidden camera in the heart of the city. It's estimated that 60% of Bombay's prostitutes are HIV positive. While the pimps and the punters throng the streets lined by brothels, most of society simply looks away. But not everybody. A self-funding group of doctors, nurses and social workers is waging a struggle to contain India's AIDS epidemic. The group sends mobile clinics like this one into the red light districts of Bombay, where they're welcomed not only by the prostitutes, or sex workers as they prefer to be known, but also by the owners of the brothels, like this woman in the blue sari. One of the most important functions of the health educators who work from the mobile clinic is distributing free condoms. And the group have pioneered a system of organising the sex workers themselves to make sure condoms are used and regular blood tests are performed. These girls service about four clients per day, for which they get about three dollars after the brothel owners take their cut. Out of every 25 girls, one is chosen as a saheli, or friend, to act as a leader. This one described what that means. For the past two years I've been a saheli, looking after 25 girls. I tell them to use condoms and most of them listen to me and use them. But they ask, what if the customer doesn't agree? I tell them that they must explain it to the customer and make him use it. If he still doesn't want to use it, I tell her to send him away. By using condoms, we not only protect ourselves from catching AIDS, but also save ourselves from other sexually transmitted diseases. The owners are represented by a bai or mother. This one talked to us inside the brothel she runs. We send the customers away if they refuse to use condom, but then the girls ask, do we have to go on doing this? With AIDS, business has been adversely affected. Everyone is scared of AIDS. We managed to persuade most of the men to use condom, but quite a number still don't want to. Back out into the street, where business is booming, the male customers apparently oblivious to the extremely high level of HIV infection among Bombay sex workers. During our visit, 6,000 condoms were given out. It wasn't nearly enough. Among the clients having unprotected sex here, foreign sex tourists. The doctor who runs the anti-AIDS campaign wishes they would stop visiting India or else at least make use of condoms. International sex tourism has been a problem for long, uh, many years for India, particularly from the Middle East countries. We, we cannot obviously stop them, but we will tell them that uh, HIV is in a big way here. So it is better that they abandon their idea of traveling to India for sex tourism. If they are coming for any other purpose, we welcome them. If at all they are going to go ahead with their plan, at least they should be careful enough to use condoms. So our message is, if, if you can't be good, be careful. If the foreign sex tourists threaten to spread HIV internationally, the impact on the rest of India is already being felt, on a scale which threatens to cut a swathe through the population. According to a recent survey uh, done uh, by the turn of the century, uh, which is 2080, there will be 30 to 50 million Indians infected by the HIV virus and of which 10,000 adults will be dying daily from the HIV infection and 20,000 children being orphaned because of the HIV infection. Now you tell me, what are we going to do and how are we going to cope with so many AIDS orphans? In a crowded Bombay street, a group of prostitutes and health educators perform a play about the danger of the HIV virus and the need to use condoms. They act out the Hindu funeral of a man who has died of AIDS, watched by an interested if slightly nervous crowd of passers-by and local market stall workers. Then the ghost of the AIDS victim speaks. The ghost tells them not to run away. They won't catch AIDS from him, only by having sex without using a condom. There is a pressing need for this kind of direct action in AIDS education. An estimated 150,000 people in Bombay alone are already infected with HIV. Handing out condoms to passers-by after the street play may help get the message over that India's AIDS epidemic is a threat to everybody, not just high-risk groups. 
The predictions are so devastating, partly because the migrant workers who use the red light districts have already taken HIV home to their wives in other towns and villages, and some of them have given birth to babies with the virus in their blood. The time bomb is ticking so fast now, India's AIDS explosion may not be far away.